Good evening, people. Today we're going to, to uh, review episode 117 of Chips, entitled Hitchhiking Hitch. This was a terrific episode involving two teenage hitchhikers and Ponch and John's uh, trying to get them to stop hitchhiking. <laughs> and with that, I think we should get right into it. Best line by Ponch. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, no way, I got my pride in <laughs> ethics. I'm going Dutch. He was, he was making reference to when he was going on that date. Mm -hmm. He wanted her to pay for half of it. And let's see. Yeah, that was about his date with the hitchhiking girl's sister. Mine is, uh, he's got a great case of the hurries. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had, um, let me just polish my boots. And then he kicks in a door that um, there's an old man hiding in a condemned house that they need to get out. Um, next category is the best extra. Um, I have the guy who picked up a VW um, bug and two uh -huh. motorcycles and moved them by hand so he could take um, the parking space that they were in. I had the old man and Leroy the dog. <laughs> yeah, I had the old man in the house mostly because... It was a hundred-year-old man locking himself in his room, and as Punch and John were entering, Baker had his hand on his gun. Yeah. Are we just going to shoot him or what? I thought that was pretty funny. The uh, best car that was wrecked, really there was only, I saw two dents, well, three cars that were involved. The runaway truck uh, tapped the back of a little convertible, made him wipe out, and uh, let's see, what else did we have here? That was pretty much it. That was my favorite one. Also, Bear's Cruiser got touched a little bit, but I like the little yeah, convertible. Yeah, wasn't many crashes for sure. Mm -mm. I didn't have anything for um, best car that was wrecked. What about best chase music? Did you? Did you oh, I had best chase music. Was when Bear was using his cruiser to stop the runaway truck. Uh, the music was just amazing. It really got you into the scene. I had chasing the two creepy van guys near the end of the, end of the episode. <laughs> that, that was pretty good. I like that one. Yeah. Different, that a little different music. And especially all this music had an excessive use of horns since it was a season one. True. Oh, yeah. Lots of brass. Uh, favorite off-duty moment? Mine was at the pizza place. Uh, it was the really only the, the only off-duty moment in the entire thing. I kept waiting till the end. I thought they were going to go sail carring. Because Ponch made reference at the beginning. He was really into that. But they never did. So the pizza place was uh, the only one that I had. What about you, Skip Fiegel? Dinner with, <laughs> dinner with, <laughs> dinner with Mary Kate was mine as well as the pizza place. The pizza place. I also had dinner <laughs> with uh, Mary Kate at the pizza place. Um, my favorite on-duty <laughs> moment was when Bear had to stop a runaway truck, like a big um, a cargo truck, with his police cruiser. And the truck was going 68 miles per hour, and he had to get in front of it and use his brakes to stop it. That was a good one. I had the uh, chasing the windsurfer in the very beginning of the episode. Yeah, mine was eating pancakes while wearing rain suits. Uh, it made no sense. Why didn't they take them off? Pancakes. It, yeah, they bought, they ordered pancakes. Oh, I thought they were in the Chinese food. Oh, it looked like they were putting <laughs> syrup on it. Maybe soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, Baker was probably putting syrup on the Chinese food. Whatever, whatever restaurant they were. Yeah. Eating they, in the rain suits. They were eating in the rain suits. And around. the other thing that I liked about that on duty moment was when Gutierrez showed up. Driving his cruiser wearing his helmet with the chin strap off. <laughs> and wearing a rain suit as well made absolutely no sense, but that was my favorite on duty moment. Uh, the best deep thought by Baker was when he said, That's what the kamikaze pilot said. And he was referring to uh, Ponch when he said, That looks like a lot of fun, talking about the, set, the people who are sail carring and out of control on the freeway. That's what I had as well, the kamikaze line. Oh, I didn't have anything for uh, deep thought by Baker. Um, next would be estimated money on wrecking cars this episode, and I'll let you guys go ahead and give out your numbers. I had three dollars because there wasn't any corrects. Yeah, I had twenty-five bucks because I think uh, the brakes might have needed a little <laughs> bit of work on Tweaking. on Bear's car after stopping that big truck. Um, I really didn't have the scene with the tightest pants. Nope. No. No. No Spanish in this one. Nope. So let's go to the most ridiculous line. Uh, mine was. Drinks like a camel, eats like a bird. And that was the old cougar stuck in the house. I don't know why he said that. Uh, that was my favorite line. I had a girl hitchhiker to, I think it was Pancho John. You know something? You're a creep. I also have that. You know something? You're a creep. The 
girl hitchhiker said to John, which is just absurd because John is the nicest guy in the yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, favorite character name, um, I guess Mary Kate. Yeah. I was going to go with Mary Kate, probably because the Mary Kate uh, Olsen twin got her name from this character. But at the end, I switched it. Just just now, I just switched it to Leroy, the name of the dog. Just now. That was my favorite favorite name. <laughs> Best stock footage. Uh, the outside of CHP shot was, it just had some really great music this time. Uh, it was the same shot that we always see, but they beefed it up with some nicer music. So I really enjoyed that shot. I didn't have one for that. I didn't have anything either for that. So. Okay, so should we look at the scene that should have been left out? Yes. I thought the stopping the truck with Bear's car was, yeah. it was, there's no way it was possible first. And secondly, it didn't add anything to the plot. No. So that was my thing that should have been left I had the interaction with the old man up in the uh, you know, top floor of the house. That brought nothing to the episode as well. I agree with both of those. Um, none of them are really relevant. I mean, I guess there was no like direct plot in this episode, but they still weren't very relevant. Yeah. Um, seeing that best represented the year the episode was filmed, I had um, when the Hitchhiker Girls were on the side of the road and they both had really, really wide bell bottoms on. Yeah, I had the fact they went windsurfing on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had the bell bottoms, uh, the fact that they were going to get a ticket wearing bell bottoms, but fortunately the guy blew past them in the sale car and they didn't get a ticket for wearing bell bottoms while hitchhiking. Uh, best villain, I picked the guy who picked up the bug and the uh, motors so that he could park his van there. And then he came out of his apartment carrying that huge thing of toxic waste. <laughs> so I really liked him the most. I had the mustache guy and the man at <laughs> the end of it. I also had the mustache guy who picked up the Hitchhiker Girls in his orange van. Um, Punch demonstrated he is an expert at, and I put ego. Ooh, that's a good one. Good dealing with little people. And I put child psychology. Oh. Wow. wow, he really did have a diverse <laughs> set of expertise in this episode. Very yeah. talented. Uh, again, that's episode 117. Um, now, did you guys have any other comments? I did Grossi not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grozy wasn't even in this one. He was still negotiating his contract for the first season, I think. <laughs> and I think that's all we had. I really yeah. didn't have any extras on this one. But uh, hopefully in the future we'll see Ponch sail Yeah. And with that, we'll close this review of episode 117, Hitchhiking Hitch, of the TV show Chips.